Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your urgent spirit guide messages uh, for this week. But I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign, Sagittarius, as well as your weekly you versus them love reading that I do for your zodiac sign, Sagi, which I'll leave a link to both of those over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Sagittarius, be sure to rely on your intuition because, put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, right? Sagittarius, you know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. Because I'm not going to be offended by it which way, uh, regardless. I don't know what I mean by which way. <laughs> and if you find some cards that resonate with you, Sagittarius, I would appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot, Saggy. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me. And finally, Sagittarius, before I get into this reading, I just want to state that this reading here is just here to give you some perspective, some food for thought, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life because ultimately it's your life to live. It's your decision to make, not mine. So with all that in mind, let's get into this reading. Now, I do just want to point out, Sagittarius, that the two of discs try to come out for you. Um, I'm gonna, I'm putting it back just because I don't want, I don't like using this deck for the starting energies. But you know, the two disc does rely talk about a choice needing to be made. Um, this really, what I guess I want to focus on is, is a choice needing to be made, um, and probably like, it also is, deals with like chaos and in, in the middle of your life while trying to make that decision. It's kind of like that card, Sagittarius, of like trying to juggle a bunch of things at once while in the middle of a hurricane. Right? That's, it's that kind of energy. So I pulled some spirit cards for you, uh, animal oracle cards rather, for you. So let's get into those first, Sagittarius. For your first card, we pulled the buffalo spirit. And this is number 10 for 10 equaling to 1 for numerology. So write that down, Saji. And the buffalo spirit says the abundant universe will provide right? Not a very impressive message just from the get-go, right? But then this is where it gets interesting. We have the koala spirit, number 35, equaling to 8 for numerology, Saji, so write that down as well. By the way, y'all are the only signs I get two of these cards, so there's layers to why this is special. Um, so look up 8 and 1 for numerology, Saji. But the koala spirit says spirit has a plan. Now, so this is where it's this is where it's interesting to me, where it's just like spirit has a plan. The universe will the abundance will the abundant universe will provide. So it's essentially saying like your spirit guides are like uh, revving up to really provide something beautiful for you. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's always going to be sun sunshines and rainbows, does it, Sagittarius? Which, if only, honey, it was that easy. But it never is, sadly. So we have to take what we can get. And so the tarot message, as well as the middle of the theme here between these two cards, is the Tower card. Now, so this is probably a little bit why Spirit is trying to let you know, being like, hey, like, essentially, like, having faith, release... The, your sense of control of the situation um, and just allow things to happen, going with the flow of the universe rather than fighting it. Um, and the reason probably is because spirit's going to be tearing down some stuff in your life. Um, the tower card does represent, um, uh, I would say it's not, I want to say sudden necessarily Sagittarius, but I would say that you can kind of expect some um, action coming in for you soon. Um, definitely some stuff to probably release. If we're going to associate it with that two of pentacles, I guess what I'm getting at is you probably are already dealing with like the precipice of it. You know, before a hurricane, I don't know why today I'm just deciding to reference hurricane Sagittarius, but in a hurricane, you deal with like the tropical storm of things first. You deal with like the bad weather first before this hurricane actually hits, right? Or maybe you're like in the eye of the storm right now and it's just like, um, no, it's not like that because I have storms like supposed, supposedly like peaceful. So yeah, you're dealing with like the tropical storms and stuff like that right before the uh, hurricane hits, essentially where that tower moment is that hurricane. Um, so it's interesting. Let's pull some cards to, uh, to. Ooh, okay. So this tower moment happens, Sagittarius, for you <laughs> through the closure of a cycle. 
Um, you have the Death card and the Knight of Cups coming in for you. Now, Sagittarius, we can take this in a couple different ways here, honestly. Um, you can take this as a way, I initially took this as a way, Saji, of seeing this as you, there being some type of closure of a cycle, some type of closure of an opportunity with somebody, um, something coming to an end, a chapter being closed off, putting a wedge. Well, I guess it's not putting a wedge, but like tower moment happens for you between you and this Knight of Cups, which whether it's a person or an opportunity. Um, and then afterwards it's death, where it's just like that death transformation, transitioning into a new energy, essentially. So it does for my Sagittarius's um, that are going through some type of relationship issues. Now, when I say also relationships, uh, Sagittarius, that doesn't mean just romantic right i always when i speak of relationships i'm speaking about your platonic ones your family ones um i guess your family should be platonic hello um but also you know just all encompassing we have many relationships in our lives so it's not just limited to that but we could also take this in a way sagittarius so where you're having the closure you would know um you are having a closure to a cycle with your tower moment to close something off to transition into something new Knight of Cups into a new opportunity. You would know, I say you would know, uh, Sagittarius, whether or not which way to take this, more so because you would have already gone through a tower moment by receiving this reading beforehand. Like, right? I feel like this energy is kind of, um, yeah, I just feel like, especially with that tower card, you, the, the Knight of Cups and the Death card doesn't happen until, um, after the fact i don't feel i feel anyways and so you kind of already you, you would have to have had your tower moment and if you've had then you can take it in that way if you haven't then you can probably take it in a way of where it's just like some type of current situation that you're dealing with that probably already was giving a little bit of signs of letting up um the closure of that finally saji so interesting let's get into some what do we have to worry about with Saji? Well not worry, right? What do what does Sagittarius what should Sagittarius look forward to? Not look forward to. I can't even speak right now, Saji. What should should sh honey. Honey, honey, honey. What should Sagittarius look out for in the coming days? Hopefully spirit can understand me more than I can understand me, honey. I don't know what is going on with my inability to speak. Probably because of the fact that it's 3 30 a.m. But who's paying attention <laughs> clearly not me <laughs> all right saji so the three cards i first started out for you are the ace of wands the king of wands as well as the four of wands Ooh, how are we taking this i'm taking this sagittarius in a way where i see you as the king of wands obviously right but here's the thing i It keeps on like ha preferencing Sagittarius in terms of some type of connection, right? Because this is you, this is like um, the King of Wands represents like forward passionate movement. Ace of Wands comes in kind of uh, signifying that as well, really claiming your power and just kind of like the go ahead with something. And then the Four of Wands comes in all fire energy, um, all wands uh, comes in where it's just like that wish fulfillment but it's something that's already been there. So this is where it's interesting, Sagittarius, because I'm like, what's going on here? Let's go in a little bit deeper, but it does seem to be signifying something in terms of that's already in your space now. Let me see. I keep on feeling like you, I'm not like close enough to the camera, Sagittarius. I feel like we're not be able to like maintain eye contact. You know what I mean? So mm -mm. we have the Knave of Wands coming in for you in the back of the deck energy as well. So, mm, all wands cards, all fiery cards for you, Sagittarius, very interesting. I do feel like this is addressing something that's in your space. Tower moment follows you again, Sagittarius. Sagi, I'm gonna be honest here. You're definitely seemingly going through some type of transition when it comes to people close to you. I mean, this is gonna be, 
I know it's probably not going to be a message that a lot of Sagittarius are going to hear, but it does seem to be, Spirit seems to be really honing in on some type of intimate, close connection that you have. Again, you can have intimate friendships where you just like are open and vulnerable with them, right? But I do kind of see this as like something coming up relatively quick with all these fire cards, Saji. Like, it seems like there's like multiple builds up in your life. And this could be related to that same energy that we are already tapping into Sagittarius easily. Or it's a completely separate tower moment that you're having or a completely different person that you're having a tower moment with. Maybe you're having a tower moment with two different people. Um, but it seems to be like a heavy, <laughs> you're going through a lot, honey. Like, I think this is like one of the first times I've had the tower card come up twice so quickly. For a reading. Wow. Let's get some clarification on the Ace of Wands, Five of Swords, and then the Knight of Wands follows you again. So, Saji, I do feel like passions are high, emotions are high in regards to this person. Um, Five of Swords does kind of seek, I mean, the imagery in it itself. I hate sounding so ominous and dramatic, but it does give me the sense of where it's just like someone feeling a little bit uh betrayed backstab in a sense right i mean just from the imagery of it i you can tell sagittarius i feel kind of comfortable uncomfortable even talking about it just because it's less it's not pleasant right um i just get the sense that because of how close this connection is and whatever is going on between the two of y'all it's just like high impact high emotions because two of swords and some distrust going on here. This has probably been bubbling in for a while. And this makes sense too, because it's just like, it gets reference. This is constant like buildup. And while I'm like seeing all these uh, wands cards for you Sagittarius, where it's talking about like really things amping up and really moving at a quick pace. I don't feel like it, like, I feel like this is like one of those things, you know, where in like those cartoons where it's just like that snowball that just like takes a while to build up until like, um, when you're like mm, such a bad reference but it's just like you know like the faster the snowball girl goes the more the bigger that snowball like builds up to be and like the bigger it is the faster it builds up it's kind of like seemingly what this is going on what is going on in this connection where it's just like started out as like a small problem small problem and probably by putting out on the back burner probably been like whatever you know just not like taking your eyes off of it even just for a moment um, Eight of Wands, by the way, a lot of fire energy, a lot of, this is really coming in quick for you, Saji. But as this continued going on, it just became a bigger and bigger and bigger problem that probably started like seeping into other aspects of your connection with them. So it just like what was seemingly just such a small problem before, now is just like a giant problem for, for all aspects of this connection. Whereas just before, like maybe you just didn't like the jokes that they would make, right? And it stemmed from that to now where you just don't enjoy their personality at all, right? So what's going on here? Let's get one more card. Two cards came out, I guess. Five of, honey, five of wands, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is some type of conflict heading up here. Six of cups. This is a, someone that you've known for a while. This could be like a past X energy as well with the six of cups this could be someone that's not in your current space but someone coming back if they are from your past um kind of like bringing up old wounds um or this is like a sense of where it's like conflict with someone that you have a history with someone that like again as i was saying before it's like this has been like a long build-up thing well it's, i'm i'm tapping into this now sagittarius where it's just like really fast forward movement with all these wands cards i do feel like for you sagittarius like this has been a long thing coming now it's pointless to talk about why it got to this point because i don't feel like that's really going to be all that beneficial i don't feel like that's really going to add much to the conversation at this point since i really don't see it stopping <laughs> at this point but um yeah i guess all i can really say with that sagittarius is just be prepared right make sure if there is some type of confrontation that happens that you remain uh, level-headed that you don't just react right with all those fire cards all those wands that's something that I feel like you have to really be paying attention to is not um, 
reacting, not um, just going off of like first instinct of what you're feeling and just speaking. You want to like think things through a little bit more, Sagittarius, because I feel like, especially with how intimately this energy, intimate this energy is to you, it probably is going to bring out a pretty harsh reaction. Uh, so I started already pulling some cards for you, Sagittarius, about just the good things that we can expect for you, the blessings to be coming for you, Sagittarius. The, the, the cards just fell out. Uh, the good cards coming to you. The good blessings coming to you. I can't even speak now, Saji. Um, so let's see. I pulled out for you the star card. Beautiful, by the way. Star card, nine of cups, and the six of discs. So it's through, you know, all that chaos aside, all that conflict and all that in this pile going on over here, honey. And all this. Like, we talk about transitions moving on from connections, right? And this, this is where it gets a lot um, better because you have this nine of cups where your emotions um, really are going to be fulfilled. You're really going to be in this place of actually arguably a lot happier than you have been probably in a long time in this other connection that we're tapping into Sagittarius. For that one, I just heard like beating a dead horse, one of those things that is, probably has been dead for a while, right? Um, the star card is that wish fulfillment card. It's that also like emotions are involved in it too as well because of the water. Usually in most star cards, um, you will see like cups in the imagery, but the Necronomicon deck is its own entity essentially. But yeah, definitely I feel like you're, even though we're talking about like such rough transitions, it seems when it comes to old connections, because of this right here, Saji, especially with the Six of Discs as well, it seems like you're going to open yourself up or like be able to go into new energies that actually give you like a very fulfilling experience. You know, you're going to feel like you're you found like your match um, with people or someone that act like people who actually like understand you and complement your energy rather than you feeling like you know Sagittarius. You know how we all have like some people in our lives or maybe we not everyone does but like some people that will come into our lives where you kind of have to be the one to be like motivate them be like their self starter and be like hey like we gotta do this we gotta do that right um kind of just convincing them to like want um a few better future for them as well even though it's like a full-time job in and of itself just to like keep ourselves motivated right saji um i feel like with this setup here you're going to really be walking into through all that chaos through all this these tower moments, these transitions that you're going to be experiencing, Sagittarius. Seemingly starting to really open yourself up and making space, essentially, to allow just kind of like new energy to come through, right? Especially with that Six of Cups energy. It's one of those people, for, like, it's probably one of those people, you know that saying, Sagittarius, where some people are meant for a season while other people are meant for a lifetime and all that phrase. You probably just met, like, were with somebody that was meant for a few seasons in your life and then it probably started becoming stale and then became stagnant and then it's just like, both you guys are just keeping the connection going just out of habit and feeling obligation to one another rather than actually feeling... Uh, like an actual like calling to one another anymore. I really do see this as like kind of like the rainbow at the end of all this chaos that you deal with, all this transition from this old energy. It's going to feel really rough essentially, initially, Sagittarius, but in the long run, as long as you practice some uh, patience, as long as you practice some faith, realizing that spirit has a plan, honey, and the abundance will be provided from the universe, right? Like, trust in that, honey, because it may not feel like it, especially in the beginning phases, honey, when you're letting go, all that chaos happens, those tower moments, honey, it definitely is not going to feel like it. But I promise you, in the long run, you're going to feel so much better. In the long run, you're going to be able to look back and be like, okay, I understand why I had to, like, deal with this person or deal with this situation, deal with this conflict, um, because it really allowed you to just open so much up to these new energies that you probably wouldn't have been able to before because you're just so distracted and trying to make it work with these old energies just probably out of pure obligation rather than actually wanting to continue on with the connection. But Sagittarius, that's the reading that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading and it was of resonance, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe, Sagittarius, and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, though, Sagittarius, I love you so much. Bye.